I first got that message from the producer, my heart just sank. It was like our worst possible nightmare. Well, second coming true, having to relive what had happened over and over. It's one thing, you know, if the victims participate, but you have these families who aren't even told that it's happening and it's just, they are reliving literally the worst moments of their life. We had like a family meeting and we all talked about it and we just decided we did not want to go through that again and we didn't want to give his name any more attention. We didn't hear anything for, I think it was almost a year until we saw the trailer ourselves. Shock is definitely like the best way to describe it. Like everything just feels like drained from you. She is so crazy and fun and uh, just a great person all around to be around, to like spend time with. We were so close best friends, you know, and I don't even, you know, if this documentary had not been made, like it wouldn't have been a problem that our family and the close knit community are the only people who knew that because I mean, we're the only, we, we were what mattered to her. That's part of the reason I guess that we didn't participate in it was because we were, you know, we were dealing, we were dealing with what happened and we were comfortable being the ones who knew about her. I just kind of posted that first initial TikTok just to kind of vent, just to air out how I felt about the entire situation. It wasn't intentional that I started advocating. It just kind of happened even before the TikTok. We were messaging Hulu and calling Hulu and trying to get, the, as soon as we saw the trailer, we were trying to get them to um, pull it. We, you know, shared our disdain and how we did not want it um, aired. You know, we heard nothing back. I decided, well, she, I guess I will be her voice. I'll, I'll speak for her since, you know, the Hulu documentary is out there. There's nothing I can do about it now, despite my efforts. Um, I'll just say what I can and share what I can about her to the people who want to listen, since apparently there was a lot of them. <laughs> I started the petition actually, like after my TikTok was already at like 10 million views, thousands of people commented on their um, trailer and on their TikTok videos, asking them to take it down. took my sister and then he took on this role in this movie for t for entertainment to other people and it's only further hurting our family the victims are the ones the ones who are hurting in the scenarios i think that they deserve to be in the spotlight more than anything i mean i know people have this fascination with the crimes that people have committed but like you need to give the victims and the victims families the the light Someone commented on one of my TikToks and told me that um, Delta was uh, airing it on their flights. And so I reached out to them. They called me and we spoke and they were so kind and so considerate. And they were like, we are going to take this down. We don't agree with that. So, you know, they pulled it from their flights. That was amazing. That was a huge win for us. they could use another name. Like it's really as simple as that or other pictures. Like they don't need to, they don't need to give out the details of a family that families don't want given out. Many people have seen the documentary. We still don't want it on there. It still hurts us to know that it's there. Um, I hope that, you know, these industries think about other people before they do this to other families. Mm -hmm.